G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now, this video is not going to be about Microsoft Copilot or Microsoft. This is actually going to be about Google Gemini 3.0 Pro. This is insane. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to build a full-blown application using Google AI Studio and Gemini 3.0 Pro. Now, let's just actually start building, right? So the scenario here is I want to build an app that takes a CSV file as an input. It then goes and interacts with a web service and then generates some output, all right, in a dashboard. Let's get cracking. Now, I'm in Google AI Studio. Now, I'm going to go to the build section here. Now, I was blown away with the power of this. So you can see I can build my ideas here with Gemini. The model here is Gemini 3 Pro Preview. Now, I can change my uh, model from the right-hand side here. So you can see I've got Pro Preview, 2.5 Pro, 2.5 Flash. Now, the system instruction template here is React. We're good to go. I'm going to leave it just at the default settings. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to paste in what I want to build. So I want to build a web application that uses the ABN lookup. Now, the ABN lookup, uh, this is an Australian business number, right? So I'm going to, let's just have a look at the website, right? So ABN lookup, publicly available website. Here's the website here. Now we can search for a business name or an ABN and uh, get some information about a company. Now under tools and resources, we do have, or this site, this service does have some web services. So I want to use that, okay? So if I jump back into Google AI Studio, you can see I've explained this. We're going to use the ABN lookup web services. You can find the code samples here and I've pointed it to the sample code repository. So let's just jump in and have a look at this sample code repository all on, um, on GitHub, okay? Now, a user should be able to upload a CSV file of publicly available company names and ABN numbers, and I wanna enrich this data. So using those web services, I wanna get the state, the postcode, and the ABN status, all right? So if I go to postcode there, this should be pre presented visually in a, in a visually appealing table. And I also want it um, to have a dashboard, all right? For the state and the status, with the status, let's just use the year, because if I go and have a look here, so what we'll do, let's look up my company, right? So I'll look up um, Daniel Anderson Consulting, um, all publicly available, PTYLTD, and let's have a look. So we can see there, if I jump into this, you'll notice that I've got some information about the company, right? So I want, I want to get that information. So I'll jump back into to Studio here. Uh, so with the status, just use the year. I've attached an image that I want you to use for inspiration for the style and colors. Now, what I did was I went over to Dribble, right? So over to Dribble here, I had a search for some SAS dash dashboards, and I'm going to choose this one. So I'm going to copy the image, and I'm going to use this as reference. So I'm going to paste that image in there, and I'm going to build. Right, So we can see here on the right hand side is where the results are going to be. On the left hand side, we can see what Gemini Pro Preview is doing and how long it's been running for. All right, So let's just give this a little bit of time and we'll come back and have a look at what the results were. All right, back with an update. You can see it is thought for 42 seconds. It is now building out my application. I've got the JSON file. I've got a HTML index file. I've got some TSX files and it's writing this entire application for me. All right, and we can see the status of each one. So we've just got, it's now built, it, built out the, the ABN service. I've got a component here. So it's building out a sidebar by the looks of it. We've got a dashboard. So it'll be interesting to see what the output of this is going to be, all right? So I've fed it in that, the reference image for the, the, the style um, and the look and feel. Um, so let's just wait, we'll continue to wait here. So again, it's been running for, what are we at? We're just at 100 seconds now, okay? And look, what this, 
what I've used this for uh, today has really just been insane. So the the ability of uh, of this AI studio to build full blown applications is unbelievable. So we'll have a look at at the results. So it's now looking and creating. It's finished the file upload model, and it looks like we are done. And here it is, right? So here is my app. Let's pop this into full screen mode. So I've got my sidebar, I've got my lookup, I've got my analytics, subscriptions, history, etc., etc. Now this does isn't really relevant for what we're trying to do. But what I am going to do is I want to upload a file. So I'm going to click this, I'm going to start my analysis. Now I've got a CSV file of company data and look at that. I can see it happening in the background. It's had a success. It's uploaded the ABN data. Let's view this in real time. So we can see here that that has actually processed just like that, right? I've got my dashboard. I've got the year that and exactly what I wanted, what were active. I've got the state distribution, which is exactly what I wanted. And I've got the process results underneath here. So we can see I've got the name, the ABN, the location and the postcode, uh, the type. I've got the status and I've got the date of inception as well. Now, let's have a look at what these are. These probably don't do anything. They don't. So they're not active. It's taken the screenshot and just created this sidebar for me. But what I was really after was this data. Now, it's processed these. Now, what about if we wanted to go back? I want to add a download button for the process results, right? So let's go back and say uh, on the uh, processed results, um, let's call this a card. Can you please, let's say, can you please add a download to CSV button that will download the results, all right? And we'll send that prompt across, all right? So what we're doing here is we're iterating on our application. So what I've got with the stats, I'm really happy with, okay? So I can go back and import another CSV if I want to. Um, and I've got some really nice sort of hover effects over here as well. So I've got the ability when I hover over this pie chart, I've got the state that appears. Um, and when I hover over this bar graph, I've also got some more information. And then I've got active entries, I've got canceled entries. And you can see down the bottom here, this is actually looking looking quite good. So we've been running for 43 seconds. So what we're doing here, we're adding our, uh, adding our button, hopefully, on the processed results card. All right, so it's thought for, what, 68 seconds now. Been running for 78, we're still going, and it's changing the dashboard.tsx file, all right? So what we should have, we might need to re-upload and rerun this, but let's have a look, all right? So it's just changing that file, and this is what that file is here. So this is the dashboard.tsx file. Um, now you'll notice across here that it, we can jump into full screen mode and everything as well. Okay, so we are back. All right, so I will pop this into full screen mode and let's start this analysis again, right? So you can see that it's actually giving me some format guidelines automatically. So I'm gonna click my button, I'm going to grab my CSV file and it's processing nice and quick again. Let's view our dashboard. Now there's our little download to CSV, right? So same thing, right? Let's download to CSV and, so, and that has actually worked. So let's open this file and let's have a look, all right? And there it is. So I've got the entity name, I've got the ABN, I've got the state postcode, the type, right? The status and also the date there as well. Exactly what I wanted, right? So if I, let's jump back into where it is, where is it there? And there it is. So I could keep iterating on this if I wanted to as well, add some more functionality uh, and do what I needed, uh, do some extra things if I wanted to as well. So. Gemini 3.0 inside of Google AI Studio in the build section of AI Studio is absolutely unbelievable, right? Blew my mind with how this 
can be used to build these little internal applications or services to do exactly what you need it to do. Thanks for watching, a little bit different. Subscribe to the newsletter, danielanderson.io, um, and every single week you'll get these AI um, insights so that you can start to, to rethink how you actually uh, build and do work at your business.